Greetings and welcome once again to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. So in a few, I think two or three videos, I've been discussing the ridiculous non-mathematical ideas of George Cantor. And so some of the comments have been coming up with things like, well, you can provide a mapping from, from let's say, a number, x, Let's get a pen here. Well, let's make let's make a number q to an to a, an integer, okay? And then in the next breath they say, well, I can't take an integer <clears throat> and map it to q if q is something like pi, right? Now, well, q cannot be something like pi, uh, and that's what I'm about to explain to you now. The concept, this concept of infinity, is a bullshit concept doesn't belong in mathematics, okay? Doesn't belong in any field of rational thought. <clears throat> now, why is that so? Okay, the reason we should not use this concept at all is that it's unreifiable, okay? Neither intangibly nor tangibly, <clears throat> okay? You can't say infinitely many or non-ending or without bound. It doesn't mean anything. Okay, so one of the questions I get asked is, oh, can you give me an integer for all the digits of pi? Well, I've got a very simple answer for that, stupid. Can you give me all the digits of pi? Can you? Can you give me all these digits? No, you can't, because pi is a constant. Okay, listen carefully. Pi is a constant <clears throat> that is the failed measure of the ratio circle circumference to diameter. That's what pi is, okay? That's all that pi is. And all numbers are defined using ratios. There's no other way to uh, derive number. You can derive number through sets, and I've produced videos on that. Set theory is, is not mathematics. It's just 100% pure rot, okay? It doesn't belong in mathematics. Now, so you cannot give me all those digits. You expect me to give you an integer, okay? You expect me to give you an integer, you moron, for something that you cannot provide to me. Do you, do you see the double standard in that, you fucking idiots? Do you see that? Um, I mean, I have to use abusive language toward you because you're such incorrigibly stupid fools. You need to wake up, okay? Listen, listen, listen to me carefully because I'm much smarter than you. You're deluded. You suffer from things like Dunning-Kruger. You have this weird idea of your intellectual ability. Your professors are fucking morons. Excuse my language again. Listen, listen carefully. For any number you give me, for any measure of pi in any radix system, not only the decimal system, I will give you using your bullshit phrase, infinitely many rational numbers with the same digits in the same places. How's that possible, you ask? Well, look, stupid. Let's look at it from this point of view. Let's say you give me those, okay? Over here, I can put 0 to 9. Over here, I can put 0 to 9. And for every one of these here, 0 to 9, and so on. And I can expand. I can place a decimal tree in the next digit for any representation that you give me, you're not giving me pi. Pi is not equal to this, okay? Pi is not equal to three. It's not equal to 3.1. It's not equal to this. It's not equal to 3.14159 dot, dot, dot. This doesn't mean fuck, you morons. Do you understand that? All that means is that you cannot measure this Ratio, you baboons. And you know, there are some Greeks on this comment. Listen to me. You Greeks who come on this channel, you should know better. Number was discovered by our ancestors. Okay, Number is not something that humans make up. Number is a well-formed concept which most of the idiots who came after the ancient Greeks did not understand. 
just like you don't understand that this has no place in mathematics. There is no such thing as an infinite anything, okay? Infinity is not a mathematical concept. Okay, so you ask, well, how do we determine limits? All right, let's do an example with limits, with infinity, okay? Let me, let me clear this out. Let's do an example. So do you, do, you don't actually use infinity when you do those arguments, you baboons. Okay, so, so if I, say for example, you're calculating the integral from minus infinity to infinity of let's say one over one plus x squared dx. You're not even calculating area here. Do you understand that? You're calculating limits, okay? You cannot calculate the area under this curve. You can say analytically, that it will never reach the actual value which you think is pi. You don't know what that value is. You just know that it approaches some constant pi. So you break this up and you say it's a limit from minus infinity to, to positive infinity, all right? So you subtract this limit. Uh, let's just do that. Uh, that's positive infinity, okay? So as x approaches this and as x approaches this, and of course that turns out to be, uh, I should have had it the other way around, this way around. That turns, this turns out to be x, not x, <laughs> turns out to be pi over two. And this one here turns out to be minus pi over two. And if you subtract it, you get pi, right? So you haven't actually used infinity anywhere. You haven't, you haven't used sums like that bullshit artist Riemann told you. You don't use sums when you calculate area. You use the product of two arithmetic means. There is no arithmetic mean possible for this particular function. I mean, it's like you trying to tell me, it's like you trying to tell me that two times infinity is equal to pi. Okay. You see, when, when, when your brain uh, uh, misfires, this is what you come up with. You see, this is your brain misfiring. And then when your brain misfires to this extent, this is the, the ugliest equation of all time, then you get this. And it doesn't matter what else you do in your, in your brain, your shit for brains, you'll always end up getting weird. You'll always end up getting weird uh, results, which obviously are wrong. Okay, so this obviously is wrong. That obviously is wrong because your brain's not working correctly. So uh, let me get one thing clear. Archimedes, the greatest mathematician of all time, perhaps I'm second only to he. Let me just clear this. So everybody thinks that Archimedes used real numbers. No, he didn't. The only numbers that Archimedes knew about are those numbers that you know as rational numbers. Okay, And, and get this, rational is a redundant adjective. Number implies rationality and rationality implies number okay there, there is no archimedes didn't acknowledge real numbers that idiot rudin in his analysis got the statement of the archimedean property wrong okay the archimedean property says that for any for any uh, magnitude, not, not real number, for any magnitude, and a magnitude is not a number, for any magnitude x, and if you like set theory, you can say there exist m and n, uh, uh, which are, which are, which are commensurate, commensurate, which are commensurate, such that, such that m is less than x, is less than n. This is the Archimedean property, not the bullshit that you're told in Rudin or anything else. Okay, so Archimedes, by the way, did not use real numbers. And as hard as that uh, uh, researcher deals with, I think he's called Reveal Nets, he deals with the palimpsest, he's trying to uh, complete the mainstream agenda that somehow Archimedes was thinking about infinity. Wrong. The ancient Greeks rejected infinity in its entirety, okay? In infinity is not a mathematical concept, which is the reason set theory, especially the garbage of George Cantor and his transfinites and all that bullshit, the Aleph numbers, 
That's not mathematics either. Mathematics is the science, the abstract science, mind you, of measure and number. If you're not a rare subscriber, become one, click like, tell your friends about this, follow me on academia.edu, and for, for only $4.99 a month, you can be part of my members-only channel where I share a lot more than I do here. Till next time, goodbye.